Hello everyone. I am your friend Shadab Ima and currently we are dealing with the topic of simulation under operations research. And today we are going to see a problem on dentist theory. So please watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So let us move ahead with the lecture. Now before going into the problem, let us understand the steps in Monte Carlo simulation. So the first step is find the objective of the problem. So we need to find out what is the objective, whether it is to maximize or to minimize a particular value. Then we need to determine the variable that interests the objective. So here we need to identify or select the variable which affects the objective function. Next is to determine the probability. Now in Monte Carlo simulation, probability is either directly given in the problem or otherwise we need to calculate the probability and after that we need to determine the cumulative probability. Then we need to select the random numbers using the random numbers table. So usually in Monte Carlo simulation, the random numbers are already given in the problem. And if they are not given in the problem, then we need to select the random numbers using the random number tables. Then we need to find the random number allocation. And we can do this with the help of random number interval. Now in a meanwhile, we will understand what basically random number interval is. As of now, we can calculate random number allocation with the help of random number intervals which helps to determine the corresponding variable of interest. That means which helps us to find out the value of the variable that we have selected earlier. After that, we need to simulate the model for the given number of events. Now let us move to the example problem. And this is our given problem. So let us see the problem. The dentist schedules all her patients for 30 minute appointment. Some of the patients take more or less than 30 minutes depending upon the type of dental work to be done. The following summary shows the various categories of work, the probabilities and the time needed to complete the work. So in this table we can see that these are the categories filling, crown, cleaning, extraction and checkup. And these are the corresponding times. The filling will take 45 minutes round will take 60 minutes and so on and these categories will have certain probabilities and these are also given in the table. Now simulate the dentist clinic for 4 hours and determine the average waiting time for the patients as well as the idleness of the doctor. Assume that all patients show up at the clinic at exactly their scheduled arrival times starting at 8 a.m. and the random numbers are given so these are 8 random numbers that is given in the problem. So let us first mark what are the key points that has been given in the problem. So in this problem a dentist schedules all her patients for 30 minutes appointment. So this concludes that the inter-arrival time between the patients is fixed, that is 30 minutes. Now some patients take more, some patients take less than the 30 minutes and these are the categories, time and probability given. Now we need to simulate the dentist clinic for 4 hours and we need to determine the average waiting time for patients and the idleness of the Doctor. So these two things we need to calculate average waiting time for the patients and idleness of the doctor. Then we need to assume that all patients show up exactly at their scheduled time. So there is no random arrivals. So let us move on and this is the solution. Now to solve this problem since the inter-arrival time is constant the only parameter that affects the schedule is service time by the customer. So let's find the random number allocation for service time and this is the random number that is mentioned in the problem and to find the random number allocation we need to draw this table and this is the category 
which has been given in the problem filling round cleaning extraction and checkup and these are corresponding times it takes and these are corresponding probabilities now we need to find out the cumulative probability so here we have calculated the cumulative probability here and then we need to find the random number interval in order to find the random number interval we need to be very careful the cumulative probability here is given as 0 0.40 so we will consider this as 40 or we can say that we will shift this decimal two places ahead so this will become 40 now what we will do is we will left out the 40th element and the random number interval will be between 0 to 39 so here the random number interval it is from 0 to 39 now 40 will be the starting value for the second row and as we can see that cumulative probability here is 55 so again we will left out the 55th value and the random number here will be 40 to 54 now again the 55th value will be in row 3 and as the cumulative probability here is 70 so again we will left out the 70th value and the random number interval here will be from 55 to 69 in a similar manner we will calculate the remaining random number intervals now after calculating random numbers interval we need to find out the random number allocation and to find the random number allocation we will consider these random numbers that is mentioned in the problem and we will select the first random number which is 40 and see that 40 lies in which random number interval so we can see here that 40 lies in the second row so here we can say that event 1 with random number 40 which lies between 40 to 54 will operate crowning operation or crown as it is given here and the operation will take 60 minutes so this is the random number allocation for first similarly the second random number is 82 and we can see that 82 lies between 80 to 99 so here the second event with random number 82 suggests that the next operation will be checkup which take 15 minutes similarly the third random number is 11 and 11 lies between 0 to 39 so here event 3 random number 11 which lies between 0 to 39 and the operation it has is filling which takes 45 minutes similarly we can find the random number allocation for the remaining random numbers so here we have calculated it now let us simulate the dentist clinic for 4 hours starting from 8 am and this is the table we need to draw this is the patient number that is from 1 2 3 4 up to 8 and this is arrival time as we know that the inter arrival time is fixed which is 30 minutes that means after every 30 minutes a customer or a patient will arrive at the clinic so here starting from 8 am after every 30 minutes we can see that a patient arrives at the clinic and this is the type of dental operation to be performed on patient and this is the time the operation takes so here we can see that these are the value we have already calculated in the previous table so patient 1 will have crown operation which will take 60 minutes patient 2 will have checkup which will take 15 minutes patient 3 will have filling which will take 45 minutes and so on now let us see the other variables here dental operation now in dental operation we have in time and out time that means in time is the time at which the patient is started getting served and the out time is the time at which patient will leave the clinic after getting served and this is the ideal time for dentist 
for what uh, amount of time dentist is idle and this is waiting time on parts of patient so let us see here the simulation is for 4 hours starting from 8 am so the first patient can arrive here at 8 am and it will take time 60 minutes so the out time here will be 60 minutes that means 9 am so here we can see that for patient 1 in time is 8 and it will take 60 minutes that means 1 hour so the out time will be 9 o'clock now as soon as the first patient is out of the clinic then doctor is free to attend the next patient so we can see that in order to do so we need to have both doctor and the patient available so we can see here that the second patient arrives at 8 30 and doctor is free at 9 o'clock so from 8 30 to 9 o'clock the second patient has to wait and after 9 o'clock doctor and second patient both are free so that the operation can take place so here the second patient enters at 9 and it has come for checkup and it will take 15 minutes so the out time will be 9 15 similarly the third patient has arrived at 9 o'clock and it has to wait till 9 15 so that both the patient and doctor is available so the dental operation can be start at 9 15 and it will take 45 minutes so the out time will be 10 o'clock now patient 4 has arrived at the clinic at 9 30 but the doctor is free at 10 o'clock so patient 4 has to wait for 30 minutes and at 10 o'clock both doctor and patient are free so at 10 o'clock both of them are free so the operation dental operation can be started so here the in time is 10 o'clock and it will take 45 minutes so the out time will be 10 45 in a similar manner we can calculate the in time and out time for the other patients also so we have calculated this here now we need to find out the ideal time for dentist so the ideal time for dentist is the amount of time for which the dentist is idle so here we can see that starting from 8 o'clock he was busy and the first patient took 60 minutes and after 9 o'clock the doctor is free but immediately after the first patient doctor is attending the second patient at 9 o'clock so the idle time here is 0 so we can see here that idle time is 0 similarly for the second patient doctor is free at 9 15 and immediately after that doctor is engaged with the third patient so here also the idle time is 0 and for the third patient also the operations finished at 10 o'clock and for the third patient the out time is 10 o'clock and as soon as the doctor is free here then he immediately starts attending the next patient which is patient number 4 so we can see here that the idle time for dentist is 0 and in a similar manner we can calculate the idle time for the dentist and we have found out that all the value here are 0 that means the dentist is never idle now moving on to the waiting time on parts of patient so let us see here patient 1 arrives at 8 o'clock and it immediately gets served at 8 o'clock so here patient 1 did not has to wait so the waiting time here will be 0 now for patient 2 it arrives at 8 30 and it has to wait for its operation till 9 o'clock that means the patient 2 has to wait for 30 minutes so the waiting time for patient 2 is 30 minutes here similarly patient 3 arrives at 9 o'clock and has to wait till 9 15 to get so so patient 3 will have to wait for 15 minutes similarly patient 4 arrives at 9 30 and has to wait till 10 o'clock so it has also waited for 30 minutes 
and in the similar manner we can find out the waiting time for other patients also so this we have calculated here waiting time for other patients now after our simulation is complete we need to find out the average waiting time on the parts of patient so we can see here that these are the individual waiting times for individual patients and to find the average waiting time we will sum all these values and divide it by 8 so here is the value 285 by 8 which is equal to 35.625 minutes so the average waiting time per patient is 35.625 minutes and the average idleness of doctor is nil because doctor is never idle so i hope this is clear to you if you understand this lecture please like subscribe and share have a nice day thank you